live from Tijuana, Mexico. Here I am, okay, at our beautiful clinic. Now, one of the things that we have, we've got a holistic dentist, we've got IVs, we've got stem cells, and I'm actually gonna do stem cells tomorrow. Okay, and corrective chiropractic where we can literally take an x-ray, restore the curve and reverse um, arthritis. Now, now think of this, there's only three stressors in the world and when you think of every disease and just think of like high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, inflammatory bowel disease, anxiety and stress, there's physical, chemical and emotional stressors. Those three stressors are linked to all of those because you've got an automatic nervous system. And this nervous system does everything in the body. It regulates blood pressure, cholesterol, digestion, everything. One part keeps you alive under stress and that's the sympathetic or fight or flight. So if I'm standing on your foot, instantly, the pupils are gonna dilate, the heart rate goes up, liver's gonna start breaking glycogen down and glucose. And this is a normal chronic res or a response to that stress. Now, if I'm standing on your foot for one day, two days, a year, five years, guess what you're misdiagnosed with? When our insane medical system, instead of identifying the physical, chemical, and emotional stress, they're gonna give you a diuretic or a beta blocker to lower the blood pressure. Really, without addressing the physical, chemical, or emotional cause of that stress? Yes. Yes, that's true. That's why 50 years from now, they're gonna look back and say, my gosh, how could they not address the underlying cause? So, so when you're looking at this, look at your, your health, okay? But I mean look at your health in a different way. How many bowel movements a day do you get? You should get two to three. You, how are your sleep patterns working? Are you getting up at night to pee? Are you waking up with tons of energy, vital and refreshed? How's your mental attitude? Do you have a positive mental attitude? Are you, are you enjoying the day? Or do you have physical, chemical, emotional stress? Do you have trouble getting out of bed? Do you have fatigue during the day? Do you have one bowel mood a day if you're lucky, okay? And do you have thoughts of anxiety and stress? Look at that. That is the, the majority of people today unless they take charge of their health. Do not medicate the response to stress. Do not medicate the response to stress. That means if you're taking a drug for type two diabetes, Gosh, look at, the, look at the video, Simply Raw by Gabriel Cousins. If you're taking a drug for blood pressure, for goodness sake, identify the physical, chemical, and emotional stress, because those drugs, diuretics, can damage the kidneys. Beta blockers can damage your body. If you're taking three blood pressure drugs, that is lowering your blood pressure, and that's gonna cause your blood vessels to tighten up, to constrict in order to raise it back up. This is why blood pressure drugs are linked to higher rates of stroke. I know it's it's crazy. If your cholesterol is going up, cholesterol actually has a function in the body. It's the 50% of your weight of your brain. It's a precursor to every stress hormone you make. So you need cholesterol. Body, 80% of your cholesterol is produced by your liver. And you need this. It's a precursor to every glucocorticosteroid, minocorticosteroid, and sex hormone. You need this. So cholesterol, if you take a drug to lower it, you're talking increased hardening of the arteries and, and heart failure, and that's not good for you. So right now, Find a way, find a doctor who's honest to goodness gonna look at your physical, chemical, emotional stress. We identify it through digital x-rays, nerve scans, three different nerve scans, thermography, full torso thermography, full body thermography if we think it's necessary, and a live blood cell analysis. And then we do a CBC or complete blood cell count. It, I mean, everything. That is a way to look at the stressors. Oh, we also do a panoramic digital x-ray and it's reviewed by a Huggins Protocol dentist. I mean, if you got any other test that we can do, let me know, I'll add it. Identify the problem and fix it. Do not drug the symptoms. And I'll see you here in Tijuana or Huntington Beach.